Yo, what's going on, guys? It's G Miners here. Last night or sometime yesterday, a newish way to use Eager Edge was discovered. And with this method, you basically swing twice once to proc Eager Edge, and the second time to actually cancel the animation that halts your momentum, resulting in a faster swing overall. So, in this video, I'm going to be going over exactly how to do this and make it as easy as possible. As always, guys, if this video does help you out, make sure to drop a like and sub down below. And with that said, let's get into it. First and foremost, you are going to need a sword with the perk Ear Edge on it. Both swords that have this perk available are actually craftable, so random rolls and the red borders for them can be earned from the Dares of Eternity activity. For this tech, there are two very simple parts, which are obviously going to be the first and the second swings that we're actually performing. First is going to be light attacking with your sword right after jumping. Your goal here is to be as close to the ground as possible when your light attack goes off. The best way to do this, in my opinion, is by pulling your sword out when running. I just find this to be most consistent. Then once your sword is out, you can jump and immediately after light attack. The second part of this is just right clicking or using your heavy attack, but at the right time. So the full combo is just going to be jump, light attack, heavy attack. This heavy attack will cancel the animation at the end of the eager edge swing and will allow you to keep your momentum. Just for some clarity, this right here is a normal eager edge swing where you can see me pull out my sword, swing, speed up, and then very quickly slow down at the end of the animation. That ending where we slow down is exactly what we want to cancel here. In most cases that I was practicing this, I was failing because I was actually heavy attacking too early. It seems like you want to heavy attack right when that ending animation starts, but not beforehand. The only other important thing for this tech is that you do need to be close to the ground for this to work. This is why we are light attacking immediately after jumping. On top of this, it is important to mention that doing the tech in water for whatever reason makes it much easier to do. So I would definitely head down to the EDZ where there are tons of places to practice and rally for full heavy ammo. I think the game might recognize us being closer to the ground in spots where there is water in game, making it easier to pull off. Otherwise, not too sure how or why this helps. If you guys do decide to try this out on some flat ground jumping and actually waiting to pull your sword out until you are falling and are closer to the ground like I do in this clip makes it easier. This way you're coming back down and end up closer to the ground than you might if you were jumping then immediately swinging. Once again, this just worked better when not in water, so I figured I would mention it. I've only messed around with this for around an hour before making this guide, but in my time testing this tech out, it feels very niche. Even if you can get this down perfectly on flat ground, there honestly isn't that many spots in the game that are fully flat, and flat surfaces that might last a little bit, like a platform or ledge, are going to be better used for something like well skating. On top of that, even with bypassing the animation at the end of Eager Edge, you can still lose a lot of momentum by just clipping your toes on the ground, so unless you hit a perfectly timed jump, then you can lose speed, even though the tech is designed to maintain your speed and this tech doesn't seem too much faster than a normal light attack where you just stow your weapon, which is brain-numbingly easy to do, and also swinging just normally uses one ammo each time where this is going to use two ammo. All of that being said, I do definitely think you could get good enough at this and optimize it to the point that it's useful, but I do think it's very similar to ground skating where the consistency is going to make it borderline useless in most cases. Still wanted to make this for anybody who wants to know how to do it or just mess around with a new tech before or even during season 19. But let me know what your thoughts are on this versus the normal swing techs in the comments below. And I do also stream a bunch over on my Twitch where we do low mans and speed runs live. A link to that and my Discord server is in the description below. Anyways, that's all for this video, guys. As always, have a good one. Peace.